Hi YouTube, my name is Danica, and today I wanted to review... I first read Alea Don Johnson's work in Zombies vs. Unicorns, the collection, and that was my favorite story in the collection, and it made me really excited to go out and read one of her books, especially because she's going to be at LeakyCon. And I had heard that The Summer Prince is a really great queer read, especially because it's about queer people of color, it's set in Brazil, and it's about Afro-Brazilian main characters. Also, this cover is gorgeous. I love it so much. And there's the back. It's beautiful. So I was really excited about picking it up. And then just before I actually picked it up from the library, I started to read some criticism of the book, basically about the Brazilian setting. That it wasn't well researched, and that it was very much an outsider's view of Brazil, that there were kind of stereotypical representations of Brazil, and things like the language throughout the book. Whenever characters are talking about their mom or dad, they use the Portuguese words, but apparently those words are really only used by very young children, so it's the equivalent of all of these grown-up characters calling their parents mommy and daddy all the time for no apparent reason. Things like that, which Brazilian readers found really jarring and a little bit insulting. So I then went into this book a little bit less excited. Maybe I should actually explain what this book is about. It is a kind of dystopian, futuristic world set in Brazil in which there's a lot of things happening. The city she lives in is like a giant glass pyramid that has like layers of society, so the kind of bottom tier of society is literally on the bottom tier of the pyramid. Women rule, and in order to perpetuate the different queens who rule the city, there are different kings that only rule for a year, and after that year they are basically sacrificially killed, and in the moment before death they choose the next queen. The Summer Prince is about June, who falls in love with the new king who's been chosen, who's a summer king, which means that he doesn't really have power to choose another queen. He just confirms that the current queen will continue forward. So she falls in love with him even though she knows he's going to be killed within a year. And her best friend also falls in love with him. I guess you could call it a love triangle, but it's a love triangle done right where all of the different sides work very well. They all have relationships in each pairing, and they're all respected. I appreciated the queer characters, and that it was a world that seemed like it just accepted bisexuality. It was very accepted that people would be in relationships with different genders, and that was completely normal. Her mom, after her father dies, she marries another woman. Even though June, the main character, has some issues with her mother remarrying, it's never about that she is in a relationship with someone of the same gender as her. I found the plot a little bit slow to begin with, but I found that it really built well throughout the novel. The characters felt really well-rounded, and I've had people complain about the world building, but I thought it was really fantastic. I feel like there's a lot of detail here that's very slowly given about how we got to this point, about snippets of how the world looks outside of Brazil. There's a lot of different details here about art, about artist activism, about technology. By the time I got to about the middle, I was fascinated and was really invested in the book. So when I finished it, I felt really conflicted because if it wasn't set in Brazil and if I hadn't read those critiques, I would have at least given this a four star, possibly five star. Like, I thought this was fantastic. So interesting. There's so much to talk about with this story. I thought the detail was amazing and that it really felt like she had given a lot of thought to this world. But then, on the other hand, even though it felt like that, clearly there wasn't a lot of research done into Brazil. And I could even feel at times that it felt like kind of a tourist view of Brazil. I don't know a lot about Brazil, 
but when I kept referencing classic music that would be the music that's out right now, that felt like it was kind of indulgent of how someone would be viewing Brazil from now, from an outsider's perspective. And I just don't know how to juggle the positives and negatives of this book. And I also don't know how to feel because I am a white reader and a non-Brazilian reader, and this is by a person of color, and I don't feel like I'm really in a place to critique a person of color's depiction. But at the same time, I want to recognize the Brazilian voices that have critiqued this book and not gloss over that. So in the end, I don't know how to feel about The Summer Prince. I thought it was a really interesting story with great characters and fantastic world building, but I feel like its depiction of Brazil is its fatal flaw. So I'm left really conflicted. I'd love to hear what you thought if you've read this book and how you've dealt with these sort of conflicting feelings about a book in the past. Can you love a book that is problematic in some ways? Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.